This PU battle is from a uh, PU room tournament. Um, this is the semifinals, I believe, and I just made this team. Uh, I didn't make it. I had this team plus Archieops, but instead of Archieops, I replaced it with a Lipard. And it's just, this was a really fun team. And actually, I didn't think it was going to work, but surprisingly, it worked very well. His team is very physical, and I didn't notice that until I was just replaying it, how much, how many physical attackers he has. This could potentially be special, but um, and this also could be special, but who even knows what this is for? But all these four mons are very strong physical attackers. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. So he leads off with Golurk. I'm going to lead off with Mesprit, and I'm just going to get my rocks off. I'm like, you know what? I don't care what he does probably gonna get rocks up or something but i'm just gonna get my rocks up he goes for shadow punch i'm not sure if he's what he's gonna do here so i thought he was gonna get his rocks up so i just go for energy ball just to get some nice damage off but he just shadow punches and gets me down really low which in hindsight that is not the best play on my part but anyways i don't want to do it twice so i just u-turn out here and to my surprise he actually switches out and goes into kangaskhan and uh yeah, so I go into Lipard just because I thought, you know, if you fake out, I copycat you or encore you into that. But uh, that fake out does a lot more than I want it to, which sucks. And so he predicts the encore. And uh, yeah, why else would I go into Lipard? That was a pretty obvious play. I'm not sure what this thing is going to do. Um, he just saw encore, so he knows he's not going to shell smash. I went into a lantern in case he goes for the scald or something like that. But he actually sets up toxic spikes, which is very annoying. I go with the volt switch. Um, just thinking that, you know, it's an obvious play, he shouldn't go into go lurk, but he predicts it. I'm like, you know what, he's not going to go for Earthquake because I have the Mesprit, and uh, yeah, so I'm just going to Scald him, but he's slower than me for some reason, and goes for Shadow Punch, predicting me to go into Mesprit, so yeah, I'm going to be able to take this guy out with the Scald. Um, the burn was significant, so that I could lower the damage, so that's pretty nice, but it wasn't uh, that big of a deal, I don't think. So he goes into King's Can. I'm fearing the Earthquake, which is why I don't go going to Togo tomorrow but looking back I definitely could have because he went for double edge <clears throat> but I never ever would do that because of the fear of earthquake so I go I took a long time to think about this but I figured Lipard could kill him with the knockoff so that's why I chose to go into Lipard right there he goes into Omanyte and uh, I'm able to knock off its Eviolite. So now I can't 2 it KO this thing. I'm just going to U-turn out into uh, Silverly in case he wants to attack or keep setting up hazards. So yeah, that's why I chose to go into Silverly. He does keep setting up hazards. Stealth Rock, that's why I didn't have it on Golurk. I'm thinking, okay, I don't want both hazards up. Even if I go for Defog, he can still set up one hazard. But one hazard is better than two because my team does a lot of switching in and out. So the rocks aren't there. Things can get poisoned. I can heal it up with a... Um, Lantern if I defog it again, so that's way less of a threat than Stealth Rock. But I'm gonna parting shot out right here and definitely going to Togo tomorrow. He's not going for close combat. Never ever would that really be a play unless you're like really trying to predict hard. So I go to Togo tomorrow, do more damage to him than he does to me. He gets the toxic up. I believe I go for the King Shield here, and uh, he switches into Girder predicting that i guess and just the better matchup for sure so i'm gonna u-turn out absolutely i don't really care about the mock punch too much i doubt he's gonna do that so he doubles into kangas can which is definitely interesting i don't have anything to take this on too well so i go into silverly to bait the fake out and uh <laughs> wow does he predict that very well he goes to double edge and I asked him why he wouldn't go for earthquake because he said he predicted the switch and he said that he doesn't actually carry earthquake. So I didn't ask him what his set is, but that's very interesting to me. I don't know what Spear Tom is going to do. So I'm just going to wish up and he actually shows me Z black hole eclipse, I guess, predicting me to protect. And I'm not sure if that would have even killed me if I went for protect, but he definitely would be able to kill me afterwards. So now I go into Silverly. I have the better matchup. I thought he was going to switch out. So I just go for defog and I'm going to get this wish back right here he goes for pain split and on this turn he makes a great play i go for multi attack and just the fairy attack though i thought it was going to kill him but he just went for pain split so that was an excellent play and now i know i can kill him but before i die or before he dies he fires off the shadow sneak and now i'm left at 2 hp so uh that spirit tom really messed me up i thought i was going to wish him be at full health but uh, I got the spikes away, but still, I'm at low health. Low enough, this guy's going to come out and kill me with a quick attack. And at this turn here, 
I paused. I was like, oh my god, I thought I had a win, but look at this. I'm probably going to lose this match. So I calced a bunch. And uh, if this Zangoose is jolly, then uh, Lantern has a chance, a chance to live this. But it's still not likely. And uh, yeah, so I go into uh, Lantern. I'm like, please, Lantern, I need this in order to win. So I'm like, damn, I think I lost from here because it, it even Jolly one hit KOs Kingler. But um, I go into Live Heart and I'm like, wait a second, I'm poisoned. <laughs> so the last move he went for is Facade. I get to copycat the Facade, and thanks to the Toxic Boost, I was able to kill him. Now, I gotta show you a continuation I thought of after this. So uh, let me just play it out from here. But there is an important continuation that will change the outcome of the match. So he goes for Drain Punch. And now I calc this just out of curiosity. I was like, I'm going into Kingler. What move do I go for? Knockoff or Liquidation? Liquidation has a strong chance to, to hit KO. It really depends on min slash max damage and uh, the Drain Punch recovery. But he goes for Knockoff, which was by far a bad play. But um, not only that, I won the battle because of that. But I think I would have won the battle regardless because that liquidation did a bunch more damage than I was expecting to. And I think that was a clean two-hit KO no matter how much damage um, he recovered. But let me show you right here. So on this turn, when I switched into live part after Lantern went down, um, this Zangus can one-shot... It, it wins the 1v1 versus Kangler. So if he had gone into girder right here to take the facade it wouldn't do very much and even it, it doesn't matter um girder wins the matchup versus liepard so if he had gone into girder right here killed the liepard it doesn't matter if the girder was alive or not but it would probably still be alive and so uh kingler would take it out or it would get off the mock punch and then zangus would come in and win so he could have definitely a hundred percent won from this position but because he decided to stay in um, he lost the battle, so I just noticed that when I uh, replayed this, and yeah, he could have definitely 100% won this battle, I'm pretty sure, um, but uh, yeah, he didn't, so yeah, I thought that was interesting, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle, it was a really good one, and I was lucky to end up coming out on top, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.